Steve, the news came as a shock with Fagans in his first year on the job. Today he pushed back on some of the school's claims while sharing other concerns he has over the state of this program. Less than seven months after taking over the helm, Howard Feggins now out as the Falcons head coach. I asked a question, why are we here today? Citing a letter sent by the school, Feggins claims his dismissal revolves around the eligibility of two players. The first is Cameron Page. It wasn't a left on my part when we played Virginia Union. Cam Page, a student athlete, wore the jersey of a player that was no longer on the team and participated. He played three snaps on kickoff return. Fagan says the school stopped providing eligibility reports earlier in the season, adding SAU did not have a sports information director, leading to a delay in updating Page's number. The second athlete is Nyron Campbell Adams. Did you play in any game this season? No, I only dressed for Virginia Union, but I did not play. Referencing his letter of dismissal, Fagan said he was informed Campbell Adams played in five games. Upon learning of the firing, Campbell Adams emailed the school's interim athletic director, writing that he is eligible and further backing up his now former coach. What happened was I had the number 41 in the beginning of the season, but it was too large for me. So another player and I swapped jerseys. Um, the coaches knew about it, but I guess, like Coach said, that hadn't been updated yet. So at games, my name would be getting called out for yards and stats. Monday, about 50 players gathered off campus to show support for Feggins, who said many of his issues with the school, including a lack of a full-time athletic trainer, have not been addressed. As long as I'm a coach, I would never stop caring for the mental and physical health of my student athletes. Fagans has not yet retained an attorney, but is considering legal actions. He was in the first year of a three year contract. Now, St. Augs declining to comment on the matter when we did reach out earlier today. As for the Falcons, they lost to Johnson C. Smith in their most recent game, 14 to 6. It's first without Fagans. They are now 0 7 on the year. In Raleigh, I'm Michael Perchick, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.